Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at this week's update. So it is Thursday, and they've introduced a few rather new interesting features. Now, first off, they've released a new sort of quality of the lights. Now, before, the lights were just a shameful display, to be honest. You couldn't really see much with them, and when they did illuminate, they illuminated a little bit of a circle, and you can see by this spotlight the increase of the quality, uh, not the cost of actually any sort of lag or FPS drop as well. You see how this light circles, and it casts the nice shadows of the struts in this room, but we'll turn that off, and we'll activate a spotlight and some of the other lights within this room so we're going to activate one of the bigger spotlights so by pressing that you can actually activate that and you can see it's got this nice misty glow like it had before but it's actually illuminating the room much better as it casts a shadow i'll put this square in the center here so you can actually have a look of what it's doing and how the shadow looks a little bit sharper as well but i don't think that's something they mentioned in the actual patch itself you can see as it casts that across the room and i can adjust this up and down so if i actually increase the brightness here you can see as it extends the lighting out to the side it creates these really nice sort of dark webbed patches as the light expands both upwards and downwards across the room and it's not as blinding as it was before hopefully it allows us to see a little bit better in these darker sort of structures and caves when we're exploring so let's actually pop that light off and we'll turn on the standard lights in this hallway now a second thing with the standard lights is instead of casting that stupid little circle of light on the floor now they seem to have expanded outwards and you're actually getting light towards the side of the lights as well so that is much better and great for casting light down these corridors so if i head into here you can actually see some of the more fine detail in this larger room we've got all the interior lights on and we've also got the spotlights in the ceiling now before these spotlights didn't seem to just have have enough power to reach the floor i may be completely wrong with this but they seem to illuminate this room a lot better than in previous versions of the game anyway let's have a quick look at the new tutorials they've introduced for planets for this week so now that we're back on the main menu if we go to new world we can access the tutorials we've got the basic tutorials that we've seen before and we've heard that keen are actually going to be cleaning these up making them a little bit easier and less heavy on the text and add some more languages in so down to the bottom we get planets and you can see that we've got climbing on planets mining planets and ships moving gravity um, on platinum or something what's that say gravity is weaker on moons than it is on atmosphere requiring you to use thrusters in your design so it's just a basic explanation of it now something that is interesting here is say that you know how to climb on planets you don't really want to do that tutorial you can't access the later tutorials like they're in a mission sequence you have to complete the one before so that is a little bit annoying and frustrating especially if you just want to learn about ice transport you have to go through climbing mining things that you might already know if you're more advanced engineer but if you started from scratch then it should be pretty fine so let's actually boot this one open and have a look so here we are on the tutorial level you can see the lighting in effect here very beautiful we've got this sort of mesh like construction to keep us caged within it you are underground on an Earth-like planet. Press J to remove your helmet and to, uh, breathe the oxygen's atmosphere. Your suit is sealed, and if you don't remove your helmet, you're okay. So it's basically just giving you things on how to do it and how to survive. So we can take our helmet off, and we can continue through this airlock. Uh, pick up the hand drill in this container. Look at the conveyor hatch and press I. And so yeah, it's just a basic tutorial on how to do this. So we'll grab the hand drill from this. It's not really very important for players that have been playing this game a lot, but for the ones that are struggling to do this, so I'm guessing they're explaining how to climb out of here by using the hand drill. So if we just equip ourselves the hand drill, I'm guessing he's explaining you can dig your way up to the top, you can equip it. There's still a lot of text here. I'd really like some audio hints, just like maybe um, something a bit like Portal, where you've got a machine above you telling exactly how to get through that next area. So let's um, begin digging up. We'll try to just dig up quickly if we can. We could even turn a jetpack on, I guess, but there's no hydrogen. And I guess that's quite a heavy part of the tutorial. Okay, so rocks are falling down behind us. And we've just built ourselves a nice slope to get up, if we can. Let's do a bit more digging in this area. Okay, a final bit more digging. So there we go. Explained how to climb up into that area. Now let's have a look into the next area. Uh, deposit your hand drill in the collectors continue okay so it's explaining some different things so if we get ourselves a hand drill and we just drop it onto the floor there we go it sucked that in oh look at that that's pretty cool so that detected that that was there drill received and it's opened the next area very nice very nice indeed i like that little feature so these tutorials have been thought out pretty well by the look of it so what's this i guess there's something in here that we need steel plates Okay, and building the scaffolding. So they want us to build the scaffolding up to the ceiling. See, this doesn't really need too much text. It's pretty self-explanatory. But I guess at the same time, you've got a kind of a story base to these that likely wanted you to do before. So you continue building the scaffolding up to that 
So after taking a look at these tutorials, it is very clear these are much better detailed than the original tutorials that came out and they seem a little bit better driven. They motivate you to move to the next place a bit more like an obstacle course rather than telling you what to do and then showing you in a very boring manner. Like before you can see this area, he's just dumped some hydrogen tanks. He's got a number seven to show we're onto the seventh chamber and the text is just quite simple. It just explains exactly what you need to know with nothing extra. Ideally in the future, I'd love to have a sound block and these tutorials to be sort of voice commentary explaining how to get into the next chamber and you could do that in such a way then where you could have it in multiple different languages the tutorial where people would understand it whatever language they may speak and people might even do their own voiceovers for different levels within the game but I guess that's something to come possibly with the scripting blocks anyway I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time